Although yoga encourages overall health and wellness, and the techniques demonstrated within this program are designed for people of all skill levels, consult your physician before beginning any new exercise program. Hi, welcome to Mind Body. I'm Susan Foxley, a certified life coach and a registered yoga instructor. I teach people how to live healthier, happier lives. And here's the key. Fitness is not just physical. It's also emotional, mental, and even spiritual. It's happiness and health, mind and body. Let's get going. Today, we're gonna to start with our sitting on our chairs. So at home, can you guys go and get a dining room chair or any kind of fold out chair at home? This is gonna be so wonderful for us. And today we have Marsha and Roger joining us. So excited. And today we're just gonna go ahead and bring our feet together and our knees together and palms open um, to the heavens and just close your eyes, please. And just go ahead and take a big inhale through the nose Hold and exhale through the mouth. <sighs> and another inhale, please. Hold and exhale through the mouth. <sighs> One more inhale. Hold. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> And just normal breathing in and out through the nose, keeping your eyes closed, please. And soften your eyes from top to bottom. And just soften the space between the eyebrows and the temples. Release the lower jaw from the upper jaw, please. And just soften your shoulders, your upper arms, your forearms, your hands and fingers. And just go ahead and lift your heart, ground your sitting bones. Relax your thighs, your shins, your calves, your feet and toes, and just check in with your body. Most of us spend most of our time from the neck up, me included. So today I invite you to just focus from the neck down and bring yourself back into your body. Today we're gonna be on an emotional diet and we're gonna find joy in our lives. We've talked about the mental diet. Well, today we're gonna be on an emotional diet and we're gonna find joy in our lives and play a little bit more. So from here, I want you to please to take your palms and just gently cover your eyelids. And this is called palming and it works your, your parasympathetic nervous system. And gently bring your eyeballs gently into the sockets. And as you do this gently, doing a little light compression over your eyes, just go ahead and go into the black blue velvet behind your eyes. You might see some dancing colors, but go into the black blue velvet behind your eyes and take a big inhale and a big exhale. If you're wearing contacts at home, this is probably something that you should probably not do. Take another big inhale and a big exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. And go ahead and release your beautiful hands by your onto your thighs, please. And then go ahead and bring your arms out to the side and extend the thumbs away from each other. Extend the middle finger and the index finger and the ring finger away from each other and the pinkies away from each other. Get as much beautiful width as you can in your upper back. Get an opening. This is so yummy for your lungs and so wonderful for your heart, opening up your heart. Really extend your fingertips away from each other. Getting beautiful opening in the center of your chest, creating space between the clavicles and space between the scapulas, the shoulder blades, and lift through the crown of the head. And then go ahead and interlace the fingertips right on the crown of the head and rest your knuckles on the crown of the head. 
And when you ground, ground the knuckles into the crown of your head, bring the crown of the head into the knuckles and slightly bring your elbows back to just spread through the, spread through the collarbones. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, really nice. And then go ahead and straighten your, bring your palms up to the heavens. You can even look up. Straighten your elbows as much as you can and soften your shoulders away from your ears. And then go ahead and lift your right leg up. And when you reach your le right leg up, spread your toes. This is really yummy for your knees. Go ahead and bring that right foot back down and lift your left leg up. Flex that foot, spread your toes. Stretch those wrists, straighten those elbows. Really nice work, Marsha and Roger. And then go ahead and bring that, hand, that foot down and bring your hands down to, the, down to the feet. And we'll do a little percussion. Just do a little, little bit of waking up of your feet. I have some clients who have a little neuropathy. So we'll just do a little percussion. This is, we take our feet for granted. We're on them all day long. Just really put some gratitude into your delicious feet. And then slowly come on up and go ahead and extend your arms out again. Beautiful. Bring your thumbs away from each other, your pinkies away from each other, your ring fingers away from each other, your index finger away from each other, and your middle finger. Spread your fingers. Get as much width as you can in your upper back. Interlace the fingertips on the crown of your head again. Rest the knuckles on the crown of the head and elbows back, please. Really nice. And then go ahead and straighten your elbows. Bring your wrists up. Look up. Look up. Soften your shoulders a little bit away from your ears. And go ahead and straighten your elbows. Stretch those wrists. Really nice. And then go ahead this time and straighten your left leg. And spread your toes. This is really yummy for your knees. And then go ahead and bring that left foot down and go ahead and straighten your right leg. Really nice. Spread those toes. Open up. Really nice. As you stretch through the armpit region, this is really good to prevent depression. It's really good. They found that people who stretch and open up their armpit region, it, uh, there's a, a decrease in depression. Long inhalations and long exhalations. And then go ahead and release your arms, please. And then from here, let's go ahead and just take the right ankle on top of the left thigh. And the right ankle should be just a little bit off the, um, the left thigh. And then from here, you'll, the knee might be um, floating up a little bit. So just gently push that right knee down a little bit and make sure the left ankle is right over the, um, the left knee. And then go ahead and lift up, lift the spine, push the right knee gently down slightly, and then go ahead and lean forward. This is really good for people that are at desks at work. And then go ahead and keep your spine lifted. Keep your heart lifted. And then go ahead and bring your hands. If, you're, if you feel safe and comfortable doing this, bring your hands in front of your right shin and bring them towards the floor. And then go ahead and push your arms into your right shin and stretch your spine even more forward. And go ahead and stretch. Long inhalations, push your arms into your right shin and stretch your spine forward. Really nice, Marsha. Really nice. And then slowly come on up. And then go ahead and bring your uh, right foot down and bring your left ankle on top. And go ahead and flex that. And your left knee is going to be a little bit flying up to the ceiling a little bit, especially people with tight hips. So gently bring that left knee a little bit more towards the floor and look up to the ceiling first. Just lift your heart as you drop your left knee down just gently and then go ahead and lean forward with a beautiful tall straight spine and go ahead and breathe and bring your arms down to the floor and push your arms into that left shin and stretch your heart forward reach your heart forward long inhalations breathe into those hips we hold a lot of stuff in our hips long inhalations and long exhalations you can release a lot of creativity by opening up the hips. And I love what the late Louise Hay says, that um, the affirmations for hips, if you have hip issues, are hip, hip, hooray. So we'll bring a lot of joy in our lives by as we do these hip openers saying hip, hip, hooray. And then bringing the left foot back down, please. And then let's do that again. Bring your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Gently bring that right knee a little bit towards the floor, about an inch. Look up to the ceiling. 
keep your spine nice and tall, please. Lean forward, stretch that, that heart forward. Go ahead and bring your right and left hand if it's comfortable and safe to the floor. If not, go ahead and just stay there. Just do, do the best that you can and just breathe. Some people might just stay just gently right here and this is enough for a lot of people. A lot of people have really tight hips, which is fine, especially if you drive a lot, the hips and, or if you have a desk job and then slowly come on up and release that leg please and then let's go ahead and do the left ankle and then go ahead and bring that left knee down gently looking up to the ceiling and then go ahead and lean forward lean forward keeping the heart lifted and lengthening away from the pelvis and then bring your hands to the floor long inhalations and long exhalations breathing into that left hip breathing deeply and then slowly come on up and then bring that foot down please and then we're going to do happy baby on the chair so wide feet since we're on our emotional diet today um wide feet and then go ahead and grab your elbows if it's comfortable otherwise some of us may want to keep our hands on the floor but it bring your buttocks way back into the chair and then go ahead and release your head and grab your elbows and really let your head go long inhalations and long exhalations and release your head get space between each individual vertebrae in your neck and just dangle here this is really yummy for your lower back and really good for your neck long inhalations and long exhalations breathing deeply and you'll notice Marcia and Roger and my we're all wearing rubber bands around our, our wrists and the reason being is that we're all on the emotional diet and if we're any if we're feeling anything but joy we snap it and try to focus on things we're grateful for so that we can uh, go to higher thoughts higher feelings higher choices and higher behaviors we're going to um, think greater than our circumstances we're going to think greater than our circumstances we're going to rise above the minutia because we know good thoughts go into great feelings great feelings go into good actions and good actions go into good results and slowly and carefully come on up come up really slowly and bring your feet together so we all have these rubber bands and we snap them to remind ourselves to focus on things that we're grateful for focusing on wonderful things and focusing on the joy in our lives the reason why we want the relationship, the reason why we want the house, the reason why we want the trip is because we want to be happy. But if we're happy first, all that stuff will come to us. So we have it backwards. So if we're happy first, all that stuff comes to us. Let's go ahead and bring the knees over to the right. And let's go ahead and grab the back of the chair. Just do a gentle twist and lift and twist. And all the twists you want to lift through the crown of the head and twist. And, and when we twist, just think of something that brings you a lot of joy. Think of wonderful things that bring you joy. What brings me joy, I love going out to dinner with my son. I love to, I love to walk in the mountains. I love to walk in the beach. That brings me a lot of joy. I love to do yoga with Roger and Marsha. And then go ahead and bring your knees to the other side. And bring your knees to the other side and then grab the back of the chair. And lift and twist lift and twist lift and twist and we're on an emotional diet because again good feelings go into good thoughts and good thoughts go into great actions and great actions go into wonderful behaviors and go ahead and go back back to the center of the chair really really nice beautiful work and then from here just rest your bottoms of your uh, the hands onto the knees take another big inhale and a big exhale and take your right hand on the crown of the head please and gently bring your right ear to your right shoulder and just stretch the neck and I've heard that the neck the reason why we have sometimes we have um, a little pain in our neck is because our head is telling us one thing and our heart is telling us another so trying to get the heart and head in symmetry and then slowly come back to center and left hand on the crown of the head and left ear onto the left shoulder. Lift your heart and drop your ear. Lift your heart and drop your ear. Lift your heart and drop your ear. 
really nice and then back to center take another big inhale hold and exhale and now we're going to do breath of fire breath of fire you just exaggerate the belly and just bringing the belly button into the spine so you can do it with the mouth open first going it's just belly button into the spine and you only focus on the exhale and now let's try it with the mouth closed just with the nose nice and just normal breathing really nice Marsha and Roger and this is really good for digestive system. Doing this in the morning is just fabulous for the digestive system. And it also just puts oxygen back into the bloodstream. Really nice. And then let's go ahead to standing and let's face the chair and bring our hands at the edge of the chair. And go ahead and bring your feet hip distance apart and your feet are right underneath your hips, please. And then from here, what we're gonna do is go ahead and just, um, for those that have a little bit more difficulty with balance, widen your feet a little bit but let's try to get your feet a little narrower than hips hip distance apart and just bring your right leg back please and extend through that heel and then look forward and push that heel back as the heart goes forward and engage your belly muscles bring your belly button a little bit into the spine that's gonna really help stretch your heart forward and your heel back long inhalations and long exhalations the thighs internally rotating the hips are even and go ahead and bring that right leg down please really nice Roger bring the left leg up and look straight ahead elbows straight and baby toe is pointing towards the floor so that the thigh internally rotates and the hips are even and if you can try to get the right leg a little straight a little straighter and lift the left leg a little higher and look up really nice bring that foot back down and we're gonna do that one more time go ahead and lift the right leg up extend through the heel heart forward Heel back, spread your toes, the baby toes reaching towards the floor so that the thigh internally rotates and lift your heart. Find symmetry between your right and left hands, please. And go ahead and bring that foot down. And then go ahead and bring your left leg up and look straight ahead. Really nice, lift your heart. Your heart away from your heel and your heel away from your heart. Getting as much space in your body as you can. Really nice, bring that foot down, please. Now here we're gonna bring, lift the right leg and the left arm, spinal balancing. Give it, a, give it a try at home. Long inhalations and long exhalations. Bring the left fingertips away from the heel and the heel away from the fingertips and try to get as, as long as you can. Breathing deeply. Come on down and let's try the other side, please. Go ahead and left leg, right arm, and go ahead and stretch. Standing leg straight if you can. Extend the right fingertips away from the left heel and the left heel away from the fingertips. Trying to get as much space in the shoulders and the hips as possible. And go ahead and come down and let's try that one more time. Right leg back, left arm forward and stretch. Stretch, get as much space in your body as you can. Spread your fingers, spread your toes. We're getting space in the hips and space in the shoulders. Long inhalations and long exhalations and go ahead and other side please right leg left arm and stretch 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 reach that left leg a little higher and stretch really really nice and come on down and this time bring your feet still hip distance apart and go ahead and look straight ahead and then go ahead and bring your right leg back look straight ahead and then from here try to bring your knee to your nose so bring your knee to your nose and just curl 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 and kick it out and look up. Heel back, heart forward, and then knee to nose. This is a little bit of abdominals. Really nice, and then go ahead and look up. Reach your heart forward and your heel back, and then go ahead and knee to nose, curl, 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 and go ahead and kick it out, look up. And then curl, 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 and kick it out. Really nice, and then one more time. Curl, 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 and kick it out, look up. 
Really nice. Drop that foot down and let's bring the left leg back. Please look up. Keep the elbows nice and straight. You're doing really great, Marsha and Roger. Knee to nose, curl. And then go ahead and kick it out, look up. And then go ahead and knee to nose, curl, curl, curl. And go ahead and kick it out. And then curl, curl, curl. And kick it out, look up. And then curl, curl, curl. And kick it out. And let's just do one more. Curl, curl, curl and kick it out and drop that foot down please and then from here come to standing tadasana hands in prayer and just close your eyes find symmetry between your right and left feet lift the kneecaps belly button into the spine lift your heart crown of the head lifts soften your shoulders tailbone in beautiful and then from here let's go ahead and go to the back of the chair and just go ahead and Bring your fingertips right to the edge of the chair. And this is really nice to, heart openers give us a lot of beautiful energy. So let's open up our hearts today because we're on an emotional diet and we're gonna just find things, we're gonna marinate in things that bring us joy. So I encourage you everyone at home to write down a list of things that bring you joy and put it on your refrigerator. And then do those things that bring you joy. Little, big, little things and big things. So come onto your tippy toes, feet hip distance apart, lift up, lift up, and now lift your heart up, lift your heels and lift your heart, look back. Lift your heels and lift your heart, do a little bit of a back bend in your upper, upper, upper heart area, look up, and then come back to standing. Really nice, find symmetry between your right and left feet, please, belly button into the spine, go ahead and tippy toes, lift your heart, look back, lift your heels, lift up, like you want to touch your heart up to the sky. Go up, 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 and back. And then slowly come back to standing. Really nice. And then again, tippy toes. And, and beautiful. And just find things that you love. Think about things that you love. Remember that imagination is one of our biggest tools in life. And just go ahead and come back to standing. Bring your feet together, please. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and just grab the right ankle. And from here, bring your inner knees together. And then from here, just bring the, that knee down just slightly, the right knee down a little bit. Bring the inner knees together and just stay there and breathe long inhalations and long exhalations, feeling that beautiful right squat, quadriceps stretch and then release. And then the other side, please. Grab your left ankle, bringing that left knee down. And then from here, tailbone in, pubic bone lifts, lift your heart and go ahead and bring that left knee towards the floor to stretch and inner knees touching. And then go ahead and release. And then let's go ahead and grab that right ankle again. And we may just stay here. This may just be enough for today. So just ground your left foot, engage your belly muscles, engage your buttocks muscles, lift your heart. And for those of you that feel comfortable, you can try to lift your left arm for balancing if you choose long inhalations and long exhalations just balancing there long inhalations and long exhalations breathing deeply really nice bring that hand back to the chair release and go ahead and grab your left ankle please and then from here just go ahead and go ahead and bring that left knee towards towards the floor feel that stretch engage your belly engage your buttocks and then go ahead and bring your right fingertips up and make a mudra if you choose and balance. Long inhalations and long exhalations. Breathing deeply. Beautiful. And go ahead and bring that hand back down. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and have a, have a seat on the ground with our legs on the chair. When you're doing abdominal stuff, this keeps your lower back really safe. Bring your legs onto the chair. And I encourage you to do this at home really good for your stomach. Bring your hands behind your head, please. Take a big inhale and a big exhale and bring your shoulder blades off the ground. Come on up and hold, 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 and slowly lower down. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Come on up, hold, 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 and lower down. Beautiful, take a big inhale and a big exhale, come on up, hold, 
hold, hold, and come on down. And then bring your right leg up and point the big toe up. And then slowly, slowly bring your shoulder blades off the ground and spread your toes. Long inhalations and long exhalations, Ujjayi breath. Breathing deeply and slowly lower that down. And go ahead and bring your left leg up. Reach it up, spread the toes. One of my favorite childhood songs is row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream and slowly lower the left leg. And the reason being is reach your right leg up and come on up. It says to row gently. And it says to row downstream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And merrily, 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 merrily lower the right leg down. There's four merrilies in there, left leg up, because joy is one of the highest expressions in life. Joy and appreciation is the highest, highest expressions in life. Lower down. And so I've learned to master joy and appreciation. Bring your right leg up. Row, row, row your boat. And just, you have to row, but row downstream. Go with the flow. And merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Come down and other side, left leg. Life is but a dream. Reach up. It goes by so quickly to play and have fun. Don't take yourself so seriously and bring that leg down. Most of us are so hard on ourselves. Go ahead and bring your, sh your shoulder blades up off the ground and slowly, slowly reach up and slowly lower down. And then slowly come on up, come on up. Really nice and slowly lower down. Beautiful. And then from here, what I'd like you to do is relax your arms first and then bring your right ankle on top of your left thigh, flex that, that right Achilles tendon and thread the needle. So grab your left thigh, please, and just go ahead and hug that left knee in towards your heart. This is called threading the needle, and it's good for the hips. Remember what I said in the beginning of class, hip, hip, hooray. That's the affirmation for your hips, to have as much joy in your life as you can. Have as much joy because the reason we want the money, the relationship, the house, the trip is to be happy. But if you're happy first, all that stuff comes to you easily and effortlessly. I wrote a blog once that the best lingerie is a smile. People love happy people. People are magnetized towards happy people. People want to hire happy people. So if you're happy first, I can promise you that you'll have better relationships. Slowly release and relax the legs on the, on the chair and bring your left ankle on top of that right thigh and slowly hug that right thigh and really extend, extend through those Achilles tendon. I read an article yesterday on relationships and it's not about compatibility or anything. They found that marriages that last the longest, um, what, what the one common denominator is, is that they're kind. They're kind to one another. Kindness goes so far. I love what someone once said that Kindness is my religion, being kind to other people. And s hug that right knee into your chest really nice. And then slowly relax your legs on the chair, please. And then from here, cup your fingertips behind and come on up for one more. Come on up. Hold, 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 and slowly lower down. And then again, slowly come on up. Hold, hold hold and come down and then one more come on up hold 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 and come down really nice and then from here what I'd like you to do is take one hand on your heart and one on your belly please and just close your eyes just close your eyes and from here I just encourage you all to stay on the emotional diet and snap it when you're having a negative thought and thank you so much for joining us. Remember, um, remember that fitness is not just physical, it's mind and body. I'm Susan Foxley. You can read my blogs and learn more about my workshops, books, and life coaching at susanfoxley.com or connect, me on, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, or even YouTube. See you next time. And one more thing, always, always, always go where the love is. 
Namaste.